this figure is a quadrilateral. If AB is equal to 10, AD equals 30, BC equals 24, and CD equals 28. Find the area of the quadrilateral. To solve this problem, first let's divide the quadrilateral into two triangles by drawing a straight line from C to A. Let this be triangle A, and this triangle B. So that, the area of the quadrilateral will be area of triangle A plus area of triangle B. Next, let's find the area of triangle A. Since AB is perpendicular to BC, this shows that triangle A is a right triangle. And the area will be 1 over 2 times AB times BC. Where AB is the base of the triangle and BC the height. AB is equal to 10 and BC is equal to 24. If we plug in these values in the equation, the area of triangle A will be 1 over 2 times 10 times 24. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And we are left with 1 times 5 times 24, which is equal to 120. Hence, the area of triangle A is equal to 120 square units. Next, let's find the area of triangle B. Before we do that, let's find the value of the remaining side of the triangle, that is AC. To find AC, we are going to apply Pythagoras' theorem in triangle ABC. From Pythagoras' theorem, AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. AB is equal to 10 and BC is equal to 24. If we plug in these value in the equation, AC squared will be equal to 10 squared plus 24 squared. 10 squared is 100 and 24 squared is 576. 100 plus 576 is equal to 676. So, AC squared is equal to 676. Taking the square root of both sides will give us AC is equal to 26. Now we know the value of AC, let's go ahead and find the area of triangle B. Since the three sides of the triangle are known, we are going to use Heron's formula. From Heron's formula, the area of triangle B is the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. Where S is A plus B plus C all divided by 2. And A, B, C are the sides of the triangle. To find S. S is equal to 26 plus 30 plus 28, all divided by 2. 26 plus 30 plus 28 is equal to 84. So, we have 84 divided by 2, which is 42. Now we know the value of S. The area of triangle B will be the square root of 42 times 42 minus 26 times 42 minus 30 times 42 minus 28. Simplifying this will give us the root of 42 times 16 times 12 times 14. 42 times 16 times 12 times 14 is 112,896. The square root of 112,896 is equal to 336. So, the area of triangle B is equal to 336 square units. Since the area of the quadrilateral is equal to the area of triangle A plus the area of triangle B and the area of triangle A, is 120 square units, and the area of triangle B is 336 square units, 
120 plus 336, is equal to 456. Hence, the area of the quadrilateral is equal to 456 square units. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.